is the Lego Lamborghini Countach 5000 QV. Welcome back everybody to another review. Today I have probably one of the most highly anticipated Icons car vehicles to come, which of course is the Countach. This iconic supercar design is finally made out of the bigger scale from Lego. In fact, Lego's already made a Lamborghini Countach before, just much smaller in the Speed Champions lineup. That's a $20 set that I believe is still available, though I'm sure will be going out of stock soon. So if you wanna pick up that $20 variant, maybe you can't afford what this set will cost, which is $180. It comes with the 1,506 pieces. Now that $180 price tag is rumored. I don't have the official pricing as I'm making this review. I will have a link down in the description to lego.com. You can check the pricing, see if that's in fact 180 bucks. Uh, but it's affiliated helps with the channel. So if you choose to purchase this set, helps me out. With all that said, I think it looks so good. I think Lego has knocked it out of the park. Just looking at the box art, I haven't even built the set yet. This thing looks incredible. I mean, some of the techniques I'm seeing utilized here looks so satisfying. I, I think the build experience on this is going to be top notch. Now, when I initially heard the rumors of the Lamborghini Countach coming to the bigger scale of the icon scale, if you'll call it that, I was worried one about what color they would choose and two, which variant of the Countach they would do. And I think they chose both right. I think this is the right variant, the 5000 QV. And I think the color choice is perfect as well. I was, I was actually quite certain that they weren't gonna do white because you have the Porsche 911 in the lineup in white as well. But I think the Countach is iconically known in this white color and this was the right move. So it's it's a little interesting to see two white iconic Lego vehicles, the Porsche 911 and now the Lamborghini Countach both sold side by side. I think that's funny, but I'm glad Lego went this route. Now on the back, you can see that there is so much detail to this vehicle. There's gonna be a full interior in this. You know what, I'm gonna stop it there. Let's go into the end depth and see what the Lamborghini Countach looks like. So first off, not only do you get paper bags in this set, but there's no stickers. It's all printed pieces, which was a nice surprise. Also a little weird that Lego bagged some tires, but didn't with others. Very strange. Another nice surprise is that the special brand new windshield element specifically made for this set is also separately wrapped so that there's no scratching at all when you take it out of the packaging. So this is as good as it gets and it's similar to what we saw in the Star Wars Luke's land speeder. These are the type of things that really elevates a Lego set into the premium category, which is exactly what I would expect for a set like this. Now, what about the actual Countach? Well, I gotta say, in person, this thing is truly kick ass. Oh my God, did Lego just nail it. <laughs> Home run design here. We'll go through it in the next few minutes, but first, let's take a look at the wheel design. First off, this is a brand new Lego element. It's actually the same being utilized for the front and back. It's just the differences is that Lego is just flipping the piece on either side. Very clever, so they only had to make one new piece instead of two different wheels for the front and back. Very clever of Lego. Now, taking a look at the back, at first glance, you'll say, eh, it looks pretty simple, you know, pretty minor, but when you really start to dive in it, when the Lego fan in me comes out, you'll see that there is literally six different angle directions happening here. And making that out of Lego pieces is no easy job. As a mock builder, as a mock designer, this is crazy stuff that is happening here. And the fact that it's durable and I had no issues putting it together is a testament to the designer of the set. And this type of crazy design is all over the Countach, not just the exterior, but the interior as well. So you can open both scissor doors on either side and you'll see that there is a full-on interior. Now those scissor doors are actually a little bit more complex in terms of how they open than it looks. There's actually a rubber band that's holding some Technic pieces in place so that they open properly but don't come flying down. Very clever. There's also a one by six printed brick in here. Again, Lego going the extra mile with the prints that could have easily been a sticker. As for the rest of the interior, there's some very nice cleverly made leather seats. There's the shifter in the middle, a little printed control panel. I believe that's a Star Wars or commonly used in Star Wars sets piece. And then of course you can turn the steering wheel that will turn the front wheels as well. That's common in these type of car sets. On the back side of the wheel well of the Countach, you'll notice there is a brand new elbow macaroni type of piece. This is a three by three, whereas we've had a four by four before, and that was apparently designed specifically for this set, though I'm sure it'll show up in other Lego sets in the future. Next, we have again that windshield piece. You can see it really does take up a lot of the Countach as the real car does in real life. Further down the hood, you'll notice that the Lamborghini logo is printed on a slope piece, as well as some more details on the very bottom there. Again, the whole design here on the front is just pretty much on par with exactly how the Countach looks in real life 
life as good as it gets at this scale made out of Lego bricks. Now, unfortunately, one of the downsides for this set is Lego did omit the very iconic feature, which is the pop-up headlights on the Countach that's not present on the Lego set. I could see why, because there really is no room underneath that wheel well. After that, we have the frunk here, and this is where I believe a spare tire would sit. Now, there is no spare tire with the Lego set, though you could add that in if you wanted to. Still, it's cool that Lego in included that feature. Next, in this little cutout here, there's actually a printed one by two tile piece, which again, you wouldn't expect, but it makes sense given the design. And then on the back, you can open this panel revealing the V12 engine of the Countach. The Lego engine design is actually probably one of the simplest designs I've seen on the entire set, which is kind of funny. The engine is relatively relatively simple, all things considered, but looks really accurate. And just taking an overall look at the Countach, you know, I just have to say that the building experience from this set was top notch. There's actually very relatively little technic. It's pretty much a full on brick building experience utilizing so many snot techniques. And for those of you who don't know what snot means, that's just studs not on top or sideways Lego building. Lots of that, lots of those specialty snot pieces, though, it's still all brick based, barely any tech which was fairly impressive. You can even see that here on the underside. It really was a great experience. Last up, I just want to compare the Countach to some other Lego cars in the current lineup where you can, I believe, still purchase them. The Porsche 911 might be on its way out as I'm making this review, but it is still currently available. And as you can see, these two look very comparable side by side. They're actually pretty much the same size. I don't know how these are in real life. I think the Countach is a pretty small vehicle. Now, next, I have the Corvette here. This came out last year and again this is going to be a smaller lego car set though it's also cheaper i think this is about a hundred and twenty hundred and thirty dollars and you can really see where that hundred and eighty dollars is going the countach is actually a pretty sizable lego supercar it's actually amongst the biggest in the lineup and that point is proven when you see all the Lego cars next to the Countach. Now, I don't have every single one. I actually still need to build my Ferrari F40, though I have a lot of the recent ones like the Ford Mustang and the Aston Martin, as well as, of course, the Corvette and 911. And when you see the Countach compared alongside these other Lego cars, you can see it's actually the biggest amongst them. Now, this is one of the more expensive Lego cars, too, at $180. But when you factor in that I believe there's over seven or eight printed unique pieces in this set, coupling that with brand new parts specifically made for the Countach on top of the truly extraordinary building experience that matches that 18 plus that Lego puts on that box, then in my book, that's a premium Lego experience. So by this point, I just have two complaints and they're very minor. Well, one of them's bigger than the other. First, price, $180, 1,500 pieces. That's not the greatest, it really is not. However, the amount of exclusive prints, no stickers in this set, the out of this world, like building experience is incredible and I think makes up for that, you know, piece count not being quite that great. Now, my other complaint, there's no pop-up headlights. I'm, I'm really shocked they omitted that feature. You know, it's iconic, it's well known for the Countach. It's such a wild 1980s, design aesthetic for a supercar. And not having it here is a little bit disappointing, not having those functioning headlights. However, you know, as a mock designer, I can look at this and see kind of what the Lego designer was thinking. Well, one, implementing a pop-up headlight here would have been quite the challenge with the snot technique that's being utilized here. Maybe a new piece or a couple pieces would have had to be developed because there's so little room right here between the, the wheel well and the actual like front of the car that, it would be next to impossible with the current Lego lineup piece. Like I can't think of a way stability wise to make this work without this crumbling uh, and, and making it a frustrating building experience. So that's probably my best guess is why that was omitted. It's unfortunate because it's such an important feature, at least in my opinion, of the Countach. Looking past that, everything else about the vehicle is top notch, perfect. Don't have any complaints. I mean, the, the functioning scissor doors, how this works is just awesome. Of course, you can take a look at that V12 in the back. I mean, and then you even have the little frunk in the front uh, and the way that's implemented so well and just seamlessly blends in. This is just chef's kiss perfection, exactly what you would want from a set like this at a high price point of $180. I think this thing really does deliver on that front. 
So with the top tier design, the excellent building experience, all of those prints, no stickers, the overall design aesthetic being pretty much on par with the Countach, and then couple that with the fact that this is maybe the best looking Lego supercar to date, beating out the Ferrari F40, the Ford Mustang, the Porsche 911. This, in my opinion, is probably gonna be amongst the favorite if you're into the Countach. Of course, some people don't like the design, but most supercar fans know the Countach, and now that it's in Lego form that you can go out and buy come July 1st, well, now you can get the coolest Lego supercar ever made, at least in my opinion. This is a day one buy. I highly recommend this set. Links down in the description to lego.com is affiliate and helps out the channel. Thanks again to Lego for sending this set over for review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.